Guys, on the last video, I told you I had something exciting coming up. Christy had put together a trip for us, and this includes part of my birthday present also. Uh, is going to be on Sunday of this trip. And so you'll see that coming up, uh, my birthday surprise. So I hope you enjoy this. We had an awesome, awesome time. We're here. Yes, sir. Hello, how are you? Good, Good man. How are you? Good, thank you. Good to meet you. How are you? Yes, sir. Good. Well, this is our first time to Vegas. We're in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? Russellville, Kentucky. And this is why we came <laughs> to see Brooks and Dunn and Reba McIntyre. Well, good morning. This is uh, day two. Yesterday, Christy and I, we just wound up walking around the strip, up and down the strip. And we came upon a Michael Jackson show. Man no, that, Mandolin Bay. Mandolin Bay. Mandolin Bay. Mandolin Bay. And boy, that was really, really good. So we're headed out today uh, to just see what we get into. And into well, Christy and I just had a good breakfast and we're ready for the day. So let's go get this day started. So let's go. Coming into the old part of Las Vegas. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Christy and I wanted to go see where it all started. And there's a casino downtown, casino hotel that's called the Golden Gate. And then this is the Golden Nugget. And they're supposed to be two of the oldest casinos uh, that started it all. And it was really neat to see them. This is what I really pictured Vegas to be like when we walked into them. This is so neat. It's like so nostalgic and like retro. I mean, I think it would be fun to stay down here in this old part. Christy and I take it this is the old Las Vegas, the old strip. Now we kind of like this because of thinking about the days of Frank Sinatra, Elvis, all of the old entertainers that were down in here. Try and talk Christy into let's get married. Again. Again, yeah. Grace, Grace Lamb Chapel. Wedding Chapel. This is the Pawn Stars. We've walked down here where their pawn shop's at. There's a line to get in. Christy and I are trying to get woke up. It is 5.55 in the morning, Sunday morning. This is part of my birthday present. We're going in a helicopter to fly over the Grand Canyon and going down in the Grand Canyon. This is his birthday present. I did good. We're supposed to meet them this morning under the Planet Hollywood sign. So we sit and wait. Now Christy and I got here about 40, 45 minutes too early because we were so afraid of being late. And finally, it arrives. Here we are, our van. How do you say it? Papillion. 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 This is us. Well, 
Well, we're on our ride out to the airport where we're going to meet their helicopter pilot. Here we're going out for our briefing. From the pilot, we had a super, super pilot. He was really, really nice. Now, Christy had set this part of the trip up behind my back. I did not know she had done this. She did not tell me until the day before we were leaving because she needed to tell me so I'd be prepared as far as taking the right kind of clothes to be out in the desert and the right kind of shoes. This helicopter flight was just beautiful flying over the desert. We flew over the Moab desert and there's just nothing there. Here is Hoover Dam and he flew us around Hoover Dam and then told us a lot about that. Now we have arrived at the Grand Canyon and we flew for several miles down this Grand Canyon. If you've never seen it before, it, it is breathtaking. It is beautiful to see. The camera can't do it justice. I cannot do it justice with my words. Now we have landed here, and like I said, I did not know anything about any of this. We have landed here on top at a place on top of this Grand Canyon. I couldn't really describe it to you. It's, it's beyond describing. The reason we have landed here is Christy had set this up. The pilot has our breakfast. And where he has landed, they have a little pavilion. They have a couple picnic tables up here. And he has our breakfast. And he sets it all out, sets it up for us. He was just a super, super guy. But Christy had set all this up for me uh, as a birthday surprise. And she did an awesome time, and it was beautiful sitting there eating breakfast, and it, it was just wonderful being up there. And Well, guys, she's full of tricks. She's got a, another surprise that she just laid on me. We are flying now to where a guy's going to meet us in a Ranger and take us to where there's four-wheelers. I keep thinking Clint Eastwood is going to ride up in a minute. I'm going to hear that music you know it goes wah, wah, wah. so now we've landed out here in this desert and this is where the guy's going to come and pick us up on a in a ranger and he's going to take us to where the four wheelers are for us to go riding the four wheelers now how's it going guys are you our atv guy maybe maybe <laughs> yeah. all right i'm david good to meet you, nice to meet you. david good to meet you montana Now this is the location where we're going to meet up with Raj. He is going to be our guide on the four-wheelers. Now this is a separate tour, a separate thing from the helicopter trip. This is totally separate. Now you're going to notice there's other people with us because there's people that are here that a van went into town and picked them up and brought them out because they were here for the ATV ride. Man, it was awesome. The reason everything that they built the housing was whatever they found around. This is an old mine we're going into. And he knew it's going to tip, right? So somehow I have no clue. I, I... Now while we're out on the ATV ride, Raj, he stopped us at a couple of different mines, and this is one of them, and we toured these mines, and this was really something to see. And they found some bones of where some of the miners didn't make it, and this is a reproduction Man, that of that. Awesome. Just got back from our four-wheeler ride and the tour guide, I can't remember what his name is, but I'll ask him here in a minute, but he was just so nice and kind and had a lot of patience with everyone. There was a couple of people on the tour that had never even ridden four-wheelers before. And he was just so patient with them. We'd come over and help them and just kept encouraging them that they were going to be fine and all. And it just was a really nice, fun trip. We got to go really fast a lot of times. Sometimes it was some slow creeping moves, but we needed that because we were going uphill, downhill. But it was really fun and I'm so glad we did it for David's birthday. And we're going to eat lunch now. We're They've got lunch, lunch for us.
Well, it's Monday. Christy and I are out of here. Our flight has been delayed because of high winds. So we're going to try to get out of here. Our flight was at what? It was at 10.40. 10 40. It's been delayed till noon. Till 12 now. Got your key. Let's go call an Uber. Now if you're in the lawn business, don't come out here. You might get some business trimming shrubs. They're laying there, rock. There is some shrubs and you might get a job laying rock. But there is no grass. Well, we're still on the blade. We were departing from D-19, now they've moved us to D-4. Are we stuck in Vegas? I don't know. Guys, we're back home. We're in Nashville. We're headed home. We're like about an hour to be there. Good time. Good time. We made it. We survived it. We don't have anything. That we need to leave in Vegas. No, we didn't do anything we should leave in Vegas. So we had a good clean time. <laughs>